Welcome to an impromptu random, this isn't D&D, this is Dark Sky's pickup game. Um, we don't have to talk about why, but here we are, playing Dark Skies. Um, so this is episode 9, uh, this will be taking place on the 20th of September 2077, shortly after the market, uh, not quite a night market market, uh, that was run by Johan the Fixer. Um, Hungry the Fixer was also a part of of making sure um, dealers um, of illicit materials of uh, expensive and very expensive variety not typically available to most um, cyberpunks was made available here. Um, Letty showed up, um, NPCs wandered about, the market is clearing up at this point. But um, Johan and Hungry obviously have come to a conclusion over the past few weeks that several of the cyberpunks that they employ aren't exactly loyal members to any one particular. And Letty would also understand that she has stepped into the providence of two individuals who um, she has come to uh, know, um, not particularly work with. I don't believe Johan or Letty have worked together uh, as of yet. However, Letty would not be unfamiliar with um, him. And you're probably saying to yourself, wait, what? Um, <laughs> you were made aware of Johan um, in a couple of instances regarding um, Netrunners who are trying to interrupt your email messages, uh, specifically Lamplighter, um, as Johan was a contracted employee for him. And Sh Nina referred to Johan as a Militech sock. Uh, which would basically mean that he is a stooge for Militech. Um, it's probably information that you've gleaned before arriving at the market being run by said Johan that he's no longer a sock, but he is instead now an employee of Militech. Um, that said, um, it's markets winding down, the people, uh, arms dealers, street uh, pharmacists, um, other types of vendors are basically pulling their wares and leaving. Um, and this is kind of the crew that's remained, uh, the people who kind of lingered about after. Um, and I'm just going to leave it open to you to decide what you want to uh, do uh, regarding that. If there's any conversations you want to interject, open space here before we move into possible um, situation for the next day. Okay, so... I have uh, two questions. Shoot. Um, what are the changes impacting my tech pistol? Yeah, so we're going with the... Um, when you, as an action, charge up. During the next turn, you'll fire at a rate of fire of 1. It'll deal an additional 2d6 damage, and it will uh, clear uh, half of the defender's armor. Okay, does the... like? Standard firing mode still include a rate of fire of two. Yeah, so if you're not firing it in a charged up state, it'll fire like a regular medium or heavy pistol. Okay. Okay. Cool. Medium Sorry, pistol. Medium still, pistol. There's still some sort of benefit to to wielding it with my heavy yes. pistol. Yes. Correct. Um. And my second question is, how much would it cost to improve my very heavy pistol from standard to excellent? So if you were doing that with um. Uh, attack. Chance. So that would be chance. Um, how much is the pistol? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, very heavy pistols, a hundred. So it would cost you two hundred to upgrade it to an excellent. It normally would cost a yeah, hundred, um, ish. Um, it's just the cost of the the weapons, materials for the tech's ability. But he's charging the cost of materials for the, the work done. Yeah, that's affordable. Okay. Um, I think we could afford that. All right, go ahead and do me a favor and just um, shoot Chody a message saying he earned 100 upgrading your excellent pistol. Um, and yeah, he will have spent the day kind of working at that. Not a problem. So your very heavy pistol is now excellent quality, meaning it has plus one to its attack rolls. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think near the end of the night, uh, or the end of the market, mm -hmm. Johan would be at hungry stall, just you know, sampling his food. Okay. Yeah. 
something as a light dinner or something. Uh, Letty would probably go over um, to introduce herself, especially to Johan. The way I'm imagining it is probably. Oh, sorry. It cut out for a second, and then I heard you. I didn't mean to talk uh, over you. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Um, just uh, seeing him at Hungary's, I'm sure she's had a description of him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was going to say, I, I imagine the setup like outside of Hungary's truck, since it's kind of been set up um, for the intent purpose of Mac serving food. Um, is there a couple of like hard plastic chairs that have been set up with hard plastic tables? Um, these are kind of on the scene. The place was set up here for, you know, kind of its availability. And so they don't have to clean anything up or take the chairs down or anything. They're not bringing them with them. Um, but for this venue, it's appropriate. So, uh, Johan's probably sitting at a table by himself. Um, probably just got done talking to someone um, from amidst the, uh, the vendors who came out to be here, and you step up. Yeah. Um, hello. Uh, you are Johan, yes? Oh, yeah. I, I am Johan. Didn't you Uh, Violette. Uh, Call me Letty. I am with uh, Biotechnica, PR and uh, marketing mainly. Oh, okay. I I am with uh, Militech. Um, shit, what was it called? What, John? What was it called again? What was it called again? Yeah, the department. I forgot. I Reclamations. Oh yeah. Uh, I am with uh, Reclamations. So you have uh, recently gotten a promotion then. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, you set up the night market? Like yeah, uh, <laughs> it was uh, a little thing I, I wish to do for all of the hard work. Um, the solos and the, uh, the hirees have done for me. Well, I appreciate it. I have uh, found a few things. She kind of raises a little shopping bag that she brought with her um, with a couple of items that she purchased. Yes, that's good. Uh, thank you for coming. Of course, I uh, have heard a bit about you from those that I've worked with, and I thought uh, since Hungary was here, uh, I would come and uh, say hello. Well, um, I hope it isn't all bad things, but uh, it is nice to meet you. Uh, it hasn't been bad. Oh, okay. I hope not. So, I, I am uh, just what trying. brings you here other than uh, the night market? Are you staying long? Uh, probably not too late. Uh, I'm going to wait for um, some of some of these people to leave, and then I will probably head home for the night. The night then. One more time, you cut out. Oh, sorry. Uh, early night then. Yeah, yeah, an early night tonight. Uh, I do not plan on doing anything, you know, too crazy. Well, I, uh, if you ever have a job that you need help with, I hands up a business card. Uh, do not uh, hesitate. <laughs> There's the word. Uh, to uh, contact me. Oh yeah, thank you. This actually will come in handy. I appreciate you reaching out. But to be sure, Hungry, this is happening right outside your food truck, so you definitely yes. see this exchange. You can so, interject at any point. Yeah, upon seeing Johan uh, linger around the food truck area, I would come down from the fire escape where I've been hanging out with Chino and some random hobo. And uh, I would enter the night market and probably, because of as slow as I am, uh, interject in the conversation right, right about now. 
Okay. Ah, hello, uh, hungry. No hey. hungry. Good to see you both. How's was... uh, how's the market treating you? It has been good. I found a few things, a few bottles of wine. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. I was just uh, introducing myself to uh, Johan and congratulating him for his uh, promotion into military. Yeah, yeah, it didn't take much. Uh, only one dead major, right, Johan? That shit took a lot. <laughs> Lots of fucking shite. Oh. <laughs> you uh, were the one who uh, terminated her? Um, no, it was uh, one of the people I hired, but yeah, the... Razor, from how I see it, yeah, but yeah, Johan paid him. Yeah, it Razor was a gruesome was scene. At his, dog, at his job, yeah, the ninja's very fucking good at killing motherfuckers. If you ever need anybody ice, you call that guy, I'll tell you right now. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. He is uh, one of my favorite solos so far. It's actually very interesting that the three of us are here now, uh, considering my latest thought process. But I'm wondering what Militech's uh, involvement with the Reaper program is, what they wanted out of it, what they were trying to get a hold of. Unfortunately, the only contact I had means of getting a hold of through Letty has been zeroed. So now we're here. Johan was just blank faced. He's just. Mm. Meanwhile, I just want to make sure for the others. Um, X, you're probably not too far away, still eating food. Um, Mortar, um, you. Um, to answer your side question, uh, no, this would have been the same. So he died yesterday so zigzag would have probably collected it today um, we'll probably be delivering it out tomorrow okay um uh, but uh unrelated aside in the market you would basically know that you're the people who've been paying you for these last few weeks are all conveniently seated at the same table um mm -hmm. so feel free to address that as you will and, and at this night market sells just uh, guns and ammo type stuff? Or Drugs, type gear, of you name it, it's here so long as it's very expensive or lower. No luxury or super luxury items. Yeah. You would be carrying around a bag full of cases of birch beer and caramels. Adorable. Ooh, fancy. Um, you would note that um, as you're kind of just getting ready to possibly leave or seeing those groups, um, Mooney, um, as you're kind of falling in, there are a couple members of the family that came out with you for similar purposes, purchasing things of import. And as I mentioned to um, Dakota, the fixer in the Badlands, um, is also here. Um, she does not go over to the cool kids' table, but she does instead approach you and Jumbo as you two are kind of getting situated to go. And she says, the Andersons have been having a lot of um, contact with folks here in the city. And then kind of does like a sly glance over towards the table. Well, you say the Andersons, but uh, you're really talking about me, right? Jumbo's like, yeah, it's mostly just him. She nods and says, well, cost me a truck. Um, no big deal. Don't think I'm hard pressed about it. But um, if these are the main source of money for you folks coming in, and Jumbo says, not all we're doing. We're also moving stuff for the, you know. She nods. Well, if you're planning on lashing in deeper into the city, it's probably not a bad idea you get a seat over at that table. Looks real important. Jumbo looks at uh, Mooney. Yeah, Mooney, when he said we're also doing the 
whatever. Like, Mooney kind of gives him, like, a side eye. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no, no. So you would know. Um, the Alicados are moving stuff in from uh, South Night City or South, uh, the South Carolina or South California border. Carolina. South California border. And also in from the east. It all stops at the Wraith factory where you currently live, the new mm. Anderson home. It stays there, and then it gets smuggled in by members of your family. That's why the Albacados were showing up at random points. They were basically establishing this connection. So instead of the Albacados going in with, you know, a pretty known kind of reputation, especially after a lot of the shit they did, uh, stealing a basilisk tank um, or acquiring a basilisk tank and utilizing it for killing wraiths, it's probably not the best idea that they pop their heads up too much and have basically just been hiding up in the north. So mm. they're letting the smaller families handle business. Okay. So when um when Jimbo kinda like says hey you should probably go get a seat at that table, Mooney says Okay. And uh excuses himself and Jumbo walks over and just sits Jumbo, down. Jumbo walks with you before you kinda get over there and once you get out of earshot of Dakota he says I trust you, brother, regarding shit that's happening in the city. I trust your judgment. I trust your eye for what's good, what's bad. So, I'm not saying you speak on behalf of the family, but you're going to represent us regarding these matters here in the city. This has been a pretty lucrative little get-together here, so stuff like this keeps coming in. You just keep doing good. Might give you a bit more responsibility. Thanks. You uh, you just keep an eye out for any uh, any any nice shiny cars. You get something with uh some real muscle under the hood. You let me know. Will do. And uh, he kind of gives you a pat on your shoulder as he kind of turns and walks away back over to uh, Dakota, letting you continue with your approach. Uh, yeah. He continues walking over to the table and sits down. And kind of just uh. Gives uh so who all's sitting at the table? Is Hungry still at the truck? So Hungry hasn't sat, I don't think. He kind of walked over and is just kind of standing at the table. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, but I would have sat. Okay, so at, so at some point during the conversation they were having, now it's just the three of them sitting at this table. The plastic chairs aren't like. They're, I don't know if you played the video game, but they're, like, really heavy plastic chairs. Like, you, you can't even move them with, like, shotgun fire. Like, <laughs> they're very thick, heavy plastic chairs. They, they look, don't want to replace them. Yeah, they, well, I mean, in all honesty, I don't know why we don't do that in real life. It's like, oh, this, this chair breaks. I'm going to throw it into a landfill instead of just taking, like, five of those chairs and melting them into one chair and then having a throne that will never, ever break. Yeah. It's called doing the smart thing. Yeah, well, so are they just really sturdy, it's or it doesn't are they... make them enough money? They're really sturdy. Are they also like impossible to move? They're no, they're not heavy. They're still made out of plastic, but it's like you know the like plastic chairs that they have at like pools. You know, like you know what I'm talking about—the white kind yeah. of like slightly off white yeah. colored chairs. Imagine five of those stacked into each other and melted into like a frame, like. It's really solid. It's very Would solid. Would I be able to spin one of these around and sit yeah, on yeah, it backwards? Yeah. Sit on it backwards, no. Okay. Because it's got the weird arms. I got you. Yeah. Then Mooney just like makes himself comfortable. No, no Picks William T. Reckering. Picks up his feet on the table. There. Johan's gonna move People his food away that. from the feet. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, Mooney. Oh, so you've heard of me. You've worked with them before, yeah? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I haven't, I haven't worked with Cowboy yet. Cowboy. He tips his hat. <laughs> so you, uh, you know my name, but I don't believe I've caught yours. Uh, my name is, uh, Letty. Letty Electa. Oh, Letty. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you. Um, you are you are um, a driver, yes. Well, from what I'm told, I'm one of the best. 
I mostly have experience with uh, Ginny as my driver. Oh you yeah. Know yeah, I've I've met Ginny a couple times. He is an excellent driver so far. Yeah, I mean, I definitely uh, well, I I trust him to handle a boat. I I ain't really got my sea legs yet. That is fair. Ginny's what? definitely uh. He's more like a jack of all trades, you know. You never know what you're gonna get out of him, but it's gonna be something fucking good. That's for sure. Mooney here, he's the best driver in Night City, hands down. Seen it with my own eyes. More of a uh, specialist then. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty handy in a gunfight too, but uh, you know, if it's got wheels, I can drive it. Well, aren't we all uh, pretty handy in a gunfight? I, I guess if you want to, yeah, <laughs> if you want to keep breathing. <laughs> Not me. Axel shout from a distance. <laughs> Obviously, a couple of people listening in. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want that. I'm gonna, ban I'm gonna ban you. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. You don't want bots to follow you. Yeah, no. Come on, man. You get the numbers up. Just gotta pay. No. I got it. <laughs> Damn. Too bad. Um, Mod speed. Oh, go ahead and ban that person who said I'm good at killing, too. I don't... <laughs> don't do that. Do... <laughs> what they no. say? Oh, no, no. It's, it, it's, it's, Brent. it's Brent. I think Brent's a moderator, also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't ban a moderator. Yeah, that's fair. Um, not with that attitude. I mean, it's not like he's lying. Oh, wait. No, I can. Never mind. He is good at killing. <laughs> um... But, yeah, so you would hear um, X is definitely listening in. Oh, so we actually did hear that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he oh, kind of looks uh, around like, who the fuck? X, you are uh, always uh, listening in. X will finally come over to the table. I, I mean... You pick up a lot of things just listening, and you know it's. I, I see a bunch of job creators here, and I was just kind of hoping for uh, a bidding war. Um, I don't know if there's a job, but when there's job creators, normally there's a bidding war. This is fair. You know how to um, make connections. Oh, I mean, are we bidding on something? Yes, me. He is good at this job. Good at a lot of things. I, I don't even know who you are. You wanna, you wanna get to know me? Uh, I'm sure. I. Are, are you coming on to me? <laughs> I don't know. Does it pay? Does Do you it want pay? me to? <laughs> and how much are you paying? I mean, these markets—they get a little. Uh, you, you don't look like you're at these very frequently. I know you organize this, so you should kind of know though that anything can happen here. I mean, Do you have I, the money? Do you have the I money? Am, I am flattered, yeah, but um, no. <laughs> no, thank you. He is a very good net runner. Yeah, oh, that too. Oh, okay, okay. That is why he's always listening in. You should have led you this, should uh, encrypt your start encrypting your uh, emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a drink. Anybody else want a drink? <laughs> You're um, just starting. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure somebody around here's got some cold beer. I, I would uh, like <laughs> I would like a drink, please. Yeah, I'll there's. Take, I'll take one too. Just uh, hit up Mac. He's got a stock back there. All there's, right, sounds, sounds good, boss. Yeah, there's a guy like about that. like four booths down that way that has some other stuff that, you know, if you want to relax. You hear a loud thud as the window uh, you see Mac has just set out like a case of um, brosifs and uh, looks over at Mooney kind of like <laughs> gestures towards the case. Yeah, he Mooney walks over and he grabs it with like with one arm and then he kind of like fist bumps Mac with the other. That. Am I the only one that knows what Mac looks like now since you've... <laughs> yeah, so I haven't posted a picture of Mac um, in oh, anything yeah, yet. Mac. I'll go ahead and throw him out, I... though. But did everybody see the... Everybody saw the food truck, right? We know what we're yeah. looking at? Okay. 
I, I gave a little heart on it. It's definitely not a garbage truck. It is Wait, not a biohazard there? truck either. That's what Mac looks like. Where do we post the garbage truck? The truck is in image notifications. <laughs> not the garbage oh, truck. I'm sorry. The... <laughs> Rack's a fucking shit. That's the cook. Oh yeah, I never trust Mac him. because he's built like a Mac truck. Yeah. I it's, love it. I actually think it's hilarious like to imagine uh Hungry and Mac both in the the, the vehicle because the gas mileage on the food trucks fucking atrocious. <laughs> it it's a smaller vehicle cuz like trucks big trucks aren't really a thing like in yeah. Night City unless you're buying like the Mackinac and like other stuff like and Mac those aren't like the one that um, uh Davis character had. Calvin is oh, a Mackinac. Okay. Big ass, four by four, fucking, yeah. Anywho, I, I want a big ass truck. Beers are set out on the table. Um, again, mortar. You're looking at the night market. As I said, it's closing up, so there aren't many things to do. But you do see that it looks like there's a kind of click gathering at this table. And again, whether or not you wish to join them is up to you. We got Just down the outskirts for now. Okay. Looking awkward. No, he's drinking. He's drinking his birch beer. He seems pretty happy. Okay. Well, fair, fair. Johan will actually partake in the beer. All right. Is he old enough? No. Damn. He is. <laughs> Damn. It's not his cup of tea, but he'll drink it. Well, it's not a cup of tea. It's a beer. Yes. I Keep know. up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't bully Jonah. I didn't. We'll take sips. We'll take sippy sips. I would never. Okay, I would always. <laughs> Even though he's standing not too far away, Mortar would message Johan and say, "Job?" Question <laughs> mark. You literally see the message. Look over, like through the hollow in the internal. I can see him <laughs> touching his ear, like. <laughs> um. Johan is just. He's just amazed right now. But All he'll text things. back. Yeah, he'll just text back. Not right now. No. I, I texted you yes, bro. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so back to bidding on my <laughs> services. You know, uh, net running, parties, whatever. Uh, it sounds like this nerd's out. But what about Buddy? Hungry? Yeah. Do you no. need food? No, I got Hungry's got me taken care of, so I guess it's your move. I mean, I do not have any work right now. I was coming oh, to uh, do some shopping. I apologize. Oh Jesus! You know you are you are on my list of net runners. Did did you? Does that bag have pastries? Unfortunately, no, but I do God. have two bottles of wine, if... That... If we open those up, I'll finish both of them. Uh, good news, Hungry, you're currently in the lead. Yeah, I got, uh... I got some feelers out there. I got a good job coming up soon. A good paying job, not just, uh... Not just any job. A message comes up on Hungry's agent job question mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's gimmick infringement, dog. He's starting to he's starting to turn around and walk away. Yeah, yeah. I text Mortar back. Yeah, come on over. Uh, he would take a moment, look down, turn around, pull out another birch beer, and walk over. Set his big old bag down. I'm assuming he's got, I was like, like... Is the car the caramels that uh, Mortar has, are they, like, OG Werther's Originals? Of course. I mean, it, I guess if they have those, such a thing in the 27 times. It's probably not. No, it's like Werther's Originals that expired in, like, 1992. It, like that's, black that, market. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it would probably be best to say that the bag that you brought is the bag that you're using. So it's kind of like one of those shopping bags that you'd use. At yeah, like, yeah. Um, you know fancier schmancier kind of food places um you set it down and find a seat 
um, kind of got two tables going, um, just gathered around. Um, but yeah, like I would say just to kind of break the ice a bit, it might be a good idea to kind of compare notes on certain things. I, Joe did try to kind of put it out there. I just want to make sure that everyone's picking up what he's putting down. Um, not, not yet, not yet. For the, uh, mainly meaning the job creators. There's something that everybody's kind of interacted with that. Um, the Militech, the part about the Militech and. But uh, why does he want to connect Reaper? with. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I, I not honestly. not blaming Letty anymore. Yeah, I thought he was just blaming oh, no, you. You're not off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the fuck involved right now at this point. Arasaka's fucking defending the thing. Militech's trying to buy the thing. Biotech is trying to cover the fucking thing up. Eh, we're all fucked. Are we covering it up or did we just help out? I don't know. A Militech person. Why don't you answer that question, <laughs> Letty? Convince well, me. Grieving her daughter's death. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're doing a lot. We're doing a lot of stuff out of character, and that's right, cool. Right, I'm okay with that. But I feel like we've got a really great potential for like a lot of role playing here because every single person here has interacted okay. with it. As as Mortar approaches and sits down, I'll say it out loud. I'll say everything I just said. Okay. Arasaka is trying to defend the fucking thing. Militech's trying to fucking buy the goddamn thing. And Biotechnica, as far as I can tell, is trying to cover every goddamn bit of it up. We oh, only cover our own messes. Oh, I mean, this messes. is your mess? Is it? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about the Reaper. Yeah, so where are we? The, uh... I mean, I know of the Reaper, but we weren't covering up the Reaper. We were trying to help a Militech operative to recover her daughter. That is all I know. That's That's my interaction. I, I also uh, do not know much of the Reaper. Um, all I know about it is from the news, uh, you know, involving Reginald or Reggie. Um, it's all bullshit. That's what I figured. I've, I've heard from Reggie himself. Uh, a lot of the sh shit that was said was uh, kind of fucked up. Uh, Just but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, as... that's a good thing that he's been cleared and all, but that's typical corporate protocol, right? When somebody crosses the line, they get labeled a cyber psycho until they get fucking taken out. And that was not the Biotechnica. <laughs> that wasn't Biotech. I, I don't think yeah, it was. Yeah, It wasn't Biotechnica, but... Uh, different breed, same beast, you know what I mean? I mean, we can get I our can hands on this. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I mean, if we can get our hands on this thing, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just take it out, bury it in the desert, burn the shovel. You, it sounds like, uh, Hungary and Reggie and I forget who else they were trying to at the here at docks yeah i don't know all the details but uh yeah yeah i know i know reggie sure as hell don't like the thing and to uh, tell you the details it was a shit show <laughs> so yeah. we thought we had the server pinpointed for the i don't know whatever the fuck you call it the main host of the reaper on the boat there so we moved in hot and heavy trying to take the thing out Somehow, fucking Militech got involved. The major that you zero, mm. uh, Johan. She was involved. Uh, shit got crazy. We shot at everything that moved and got the fuck out of there. But you yeah. did not destroy the Reaper. Nah. And as far as I can tell, the only people that have been able to engage this demon are the Netrunners. And it's a high risk for them to even do so. They make one wrong move, they're infected, they could get zero just like Bev did. You remember Bev, right, Letty? I do. Uh, yeah. I also remember the Adams, and uh, there was the Lurch, 
who he was making copies. I'm sure those copies might be out. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my understanding of it. Is that we uh, we managed to kind of eliminate everything that was on site that was present there, but uh, I guess I guess they managed to get a copy out somewhere. Just not sure where that went. Well, I am sure that uh, there are many copies of this Reaper. It seems uh, that there have been many cyber cycles. Uh, yeah. We, we did like... find the, the brain dance, so it could be on all kinds of stuff. But um, just, again, before we make any decisions and there's a bidding war, I would just like to note that I am 1-0 versus fragments of this Reaper. Uh, I'm not looking to die burned alive. I'd much rather die either from too much fun, body fluids, drugs, drinks, too much food. Um, but, you know, again, want to know. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, this motherfucker yeah, said you body like fluids. To go fast? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? You like to go fast? I mean, sometimes you got to go fast. Sometimes you got to go slow. Sometimes, yeah. Just uh, it, it depends on what type of party we're having. Got to read the room. <sighs> Hungry? Who is this kid? <laughs> this is X, one of the best up and coming night runners in Night City. I promise you that. Kid's got an appetite like a goddamn mammoth. Man, seen that before. Soon to be too young to die so soon. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I mean, again, as long as it's not on fire, I mean, I'm willing to take some risks. <laughs> you know, you know. So your hard limit is fire. I mean, limits. It really depends on what situation we're talking about. I'm, I'm talking more about like, you know, like cyberware virus fire. I mean, oh yeah, the yeah, right, yeah. You, you drink enough and you go out with the right people. I mean, fire's not off the table, but in this circumstance. That's yeah. not exactly how I'm looking to go out. But again, just want to underscore, want to know. <laughs> so, uh, this ain't really my area of expertise, so you gotta forgive me if I'm sounding kind of stupid here. But, uh, you, you, uh, Netrunner, X. Yeah. You, you think you might be able to, like, I don't know, write up some kind of program, you could just, like, plug it into a system, and if the Reaper's there, it'll, it'll tell you? I mean... When that catches on fire, we'll know. Is that how it works? I mean, I, I did actually catch on fire when I went 1 and 0. Oh. Well, let's not, let us uh, not get you caught on fire again. Yeah, yes. yeah. I think, I think maybe having this sort of, uh, this sort of uh, sniffer program, that might, you know, that might keep you from getting burned. I mean, it, it's crafty. It's everywhere, man. Just that, you know, you plug in somewhere. Sometimes you, um, you catch some things. Yeah, well, this isn't like you know, it's not like the old days when everything's all tied together. You can't just plug in one place and check everything out. You got to check everything out one one step at a time. Yeah, I think that's what Asuras was for. Asuara? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> You've never. Heard it. You, you know never... what? I just. I, that was just an idea, but ah, fuck. Chat has not worked with uh, a lot of net runners. It looks like yeah. lamplighter. Um, that's it. Lamplighter. We did yeah. seventh hell together. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah Cyrus he was, was. He was just hanging out back the whole time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he was the driver. So our main issue right now for everyone is is this Reaper. It is. Demon? I suppose it is a demon of sorts. Yeah, it mm. seems like it'd be a, be a real real powerful weapon in the wrong hands. They could just... It seems that it is in the wrong hands. Okay, yeah. whose hands are those? We it's... do not know. Yeah, it's own it... question. I thought it was... Uh... I thought it was Biotechnica. If I'm being honest with you, up until a couple of days ago at the pier, when we saw those Arasaka goons fucking roll out to defend the thing. I know uh, the major, Letty, that woman that you knew, she was involved somewhere on the pier 
I got a feeling they were trying to buy the thing so they could use it for their own benefit, but I can't prove that theory. It could also be that she was confronting them because it killed her daughter. See, I did not know that. That is what I had done. That is why I needed the body. It was to be delivered to her, and she apparently was too grief-stricken to even eat pastries. Yes. I, I can't even imagine that. God. You the ate power. one. <laughs> I know! And it was a very serious situation we were discussing when I was eating one. And did it make you feel yeah. better? I mean, it, it didn't hurt. You sure you don't have any? <laughs> I haven't been to Vigiano's yet today. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn You're talking about Jez Styles. Yes, that was her daughter. Her only. See, I didn't know that until now. I'm sorry. I should have communicated that uh, a bit more. The last name I thought would connect it enough. I never got to know the Major very well. Reggie only pointed it out to me, said that you guys were involved in some kind of a job together. Well, uh, you were the one who helped us get our body from uh, the Prinksinct, delivered it to oh, Militech, yeah. and yeah. we got uh, another body, uh, Gabby? I believe it was Reggie's girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know much about the Major from Militech, the one that got fucking zero by Johan and Razor, but I was very familiar with Jess Styles. I never knew her last name, so I only knew her as the fucking Militech bitch fucking Major. Major Styles, that is. That is her. Um, I apologize that I uh, apparently have dragged her name in the mud for too long. Uh, but I personally, I am unsure, even though she has slighted me a bit. Uh, the connection is her daughter, so I only assume the best. Uh point of order. Johan, they're talking a lot about stuff you know a lot about. Are you saying anything or are you keeping quiet? Um, I'm sort of just the third party here, just listening in. Uh, <laughs> Not saying nothing, huh? Yeah, I'm just keeping it down low. Way to tell the corpo line. We'd love to see it. <laughs> well, fuck. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know anything about Johan's relations with Militech. Well, he, he did just they... mention he yeah. got hired, yeah. Yeah. He is now... He is now Militech. <laughs> um, Always been Militech, baby! No. I suppose if you need a new connection for Militech, you can always... Uh, motions over to Johan. Talk to him now. Uh, what did it... What did, department did you say that you were... Um, a part of? Uh, reclamations? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am uh, a part of the reclamations. Reclamations, terminations. Uh, along those lines. So I suppose you could uh, get information of Militech that you need from him instead of uh, our departed uh, Major Styles. Yeah, well, really, the only, I don't know, I, in my small brain, the only link I could make was why did Militech have any interest in the whole Reaper project in the first place? I figured, you know, they probably wanted to weaponize the motherfucker and turn it against everybody else, but considering what you've told me now tonight, I don't know, maybe it was more of a personal thing for this woman, it this uh, Major Styles. It could be, it may not be. Uh, all I know is that when Militech is involved in something possibly public, it usually gets a little hush-hush. They 
messed up pretty big, you know, back in the day. So maybe she went off script. I would expect that she might have, uh, which would explain her unfortunate termination. You go off script too much, too loudly. Usually that is what happens. It happen it unfortunately happens many times. You either get terminated or you disappear on your own. Uh maybe looks at Johan, he says, Did you uh did you like go through her her agent, any uh any sort of computers or anything she had? She might have she might have had more information about this thing than you realized. Well, um once we zeroed her, we got rid of everything. The body and all. You didn't even, like, <clears throat> check it for any details, any information? Everything uh, went into the burner. Yeah, oh. you guys you guys tend to do that. And for maybe the first time, for those of you that have run with X before, he actually seems to be like, invested and irritated at the same time. Sounds like a bit of a waste. Waste of an opportunity. Yeah. But uh, it was one of the things I needed to do for uh, my promotion, so to speak. Anything no questions. To- you, so you will do anything to get a promotion then? I mean, yeah. Promotions are nice. Ah, uh, they do come with their perks. Yeah. Did How you, about uh... you, uh, Violetta? What would you do for a promotion? Uh, I'm pretty comfortable where I am at now. I mostly want to focus on uh, building Biotechnica's name we have as you would say fucked up in uh, the past and uh we are doing our best to gain trust back i know it is hard to do with corporations especially with people like you who do not trust us ever that is fine i understand uh, but, well i mean uh, that's fair for, for what it's worth i mean <laughs> biotechnica you may make a mistake every once in a while but you look at Johan over here in Militech, yeah. fucking up and killing random people on accident. That's just a fucking Tuesday, right? <laughs> uh, Mortar opens his eyes. He, he looks like he dozed off a little bit, but he was listening too. He l- says to Johan, what do you say about the phone and the Neuralink? The phone and the Neuralink? What? 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 For Major Styles? Yeah. Yeah, I think he said they uh, they all went in the burner. Whatever the fuck that means. What, what does that mean, Johan? They burnt it. Got rid of it. Destroyed it. Uh, I was there, Johan. The phone was taken by N54. And the Neuralink was taken by you. You. So it was not destroyed? I took Starlink and I destroyed it. Did you? Yeah, I or had to make sure. What your promotion tells you to do? So they told me to destroy it. I put it in a wood chipper and destroyed it. We still have wood chippers in Night City? No. <laughs> 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 but we have equivalents. <laughs> Bone chippers? <laughs> Garbage right. disposals, trash compactors. Yeah, we, we probably do have like waste disposal units that are just glorified wood chippers. Yeah. <laughs> Militech, corpos, There's so many slimy fucks around. <laughs> Don't know who to believe. Just uh, point me at a job. It is best to trust uh, no one. I believe Hungary would agree with me on that. You never trust anybody better than yourself. That is what my parents taught me. I just do my job. Trust myself. 
trust family. I would send a uh, a text message to Mac mm -hmm. and uh, tell him to get ready and notify the other vendors at the night market that I'm affiliated with. Pull out. Just to get ready. Oh, okay. And uh, then I would uh, speak to Johan. Uh, reclamation, huh? What exactly are you reclaiming? Maybe some lost demon protocols that got out of control. Out there killing people for no fucking reason. Uh, not that I am aware of, not yet. Uh, I don't think I've had to reclaim any demons just yet. Uh, the last thing I reclaimed was uh, Major Styles, but that's it. Maybe he, he's got to get, like, six more promotions before he gets any fucking answers. <laughs> Who asked you to fucking zero, Styles? Uh, my employer. That's the time. Which is who? Unfortunately, I cannot give that information. Did you Sixers. sign an NDA? Typically, Sixers don't give away their, uh... And uh, uh, that's not drawn out of character. Is that connected with Harvest Ronaldo? Harvest Ronaldo is um, N54 N54 News. N54, okay. I mean, this this nerd over here seems to be uh, being real secretive, but you with the um, the hell kind of beer is that? <laughs> Birch beer. <laughs> the best kind, son. Yeah, okay, he puts one and he puts one down in front of him. Uh, damn, I I like you. <laughs> yeah, you you seem to be a little more talkative than this guy. May, hungry, maybe you can talk to him, but be be nice. He 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 seems pretty cool. And then I'll start drinking said birch beer. <laughs> oh yeah, Morta. He's one of the good ones. They don't make them. They don't make them like this guy anymore. I saw this man take a fucking bullet to the brain from me once. I promise you that. And he walked that, away from. That's that another way I don't want to go out. <laughs> just, just put that on the record. He still got the dent. <laughs> yeah, there's a dent in his armor, Jack. <laughs> Well, you know, there's a there's a guy over there. I'm sure he could probably iron that out for you. He's already there. Uh, it looks cool. I have his uh, <laughs> contact information. Would you hand him the handwritten note that he but gave? She, she's already internalized it. Yeah, she yeah. put it into the inter <laughs> Uh, I already have his information in here. So uh, this is yours. Seems he was like, very kind. Seems like it's close to you, by the way, Mortar. The... Uh, uh, information that she uh, hands out. The address is right across the water, like just on the other visit side, down the road from um, the prison, and up the road from Buzzards. Okay. Oh, he's by the prison? Oh. Not too far from it, no. So it's, um, it's a ways down, but it's like I'd say it's probably about halfway between the prison and Buzzards River Dock spot. I think I marked it on the map. Did you? Uh, yep. Chances shot. Oh. Okay, that's not too close. Yep. Prison's kind of like... Well, I guess it's a little closer to the dock, but yeah. Yeah. I just imagine that Letty doesn't necessarily like going near the prison. Not to let the pressure off. I just want to make sure I uh, <laughs> don't let the tension that was building there um, <laughs> escape us. Hungry, you were driving for a second in the conversation, but I believe Johan was responding as well. However, you want to pick that back up. Yeah, most guys, we'd have done fucking buried them by now and forgot about them. This guy right here, Morta, walks away with a dent in the skull and fucking lives to tell the tale. I'd trust him on fucking any mission. Any job you got lined up. Tough son of a bitch to take down. I mean, who you know lives to be this fucking old and nice city? Let's 
call him old. He is young at heart. It's like him and Rogue. Like, <laughs> no offense, Morta, of course. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not gonna live to be your fucking niece, that's for sure. Playing in some, uh, playing with the sharks, hungry. I don't, I don't know. It's, you gotta, you gotta know when to put your head down. Yeah, you know how it is. Some young mooks gonna come along thinking they can do my job better than me. <laughs> They're gonna take me out. Staring at Johan the whole time. <laughs> well, this has been a fun coffee clatch, but uh, if there's no job to be had, maybe I'll head home. I've been telling everybody, I haven't ironed out the details yet, but I got something lined up. Something should come up very soon. I wasn't leading you on just to get you to come join our fucking tea party over here. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's tea? Uh, no, there is only beer. I mean, that that's fine too, but I thought... I figured that you would uh, appreciate the beer more than... Variety is important. This is fair. Beer and all the cheeseburgers you could eat, of course. Mac or also fish, important. whatever you want. Yeah. Again, buddy, not. Do you want me to point to my pressure? pistol at, at fucking Jonah? What's going on? <laughs> yes, do it. Do it. I want you to do what you want to I do. Don't, I don't want to do you, that again. You sack shit. What? I'll do it again. Yeah, maybe he'll get a dent in his head, too. And if he cruel. doesn't, well, it's not our problem anymore. It's just cruel and unusual, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Don't bully Jonah! Don't bully Jonah! Keep in mind, you may have him outnumbered here, but this is his night market, so... That's true. Is it his night market? I mean, how many vendors here are mine and... A decent amount. Are, ...are ready for that action? A decent amount, but most of them are Johans. And then there's a good amount of um, Dakotas present as well so this isn't just going to be a situation where it's five players versus one player it's going to be Fair. a very large clusterfuck if we start drawing guns which no, I, I, I enjoy go for it i don't i don't want to do that but mooney does take out his very heavy pistol and he's sort of like playing with it especially since he just got it upgraded oh yeah it's 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 preem like it shiny so uh what is this job that you are uh that is coming up for you. I don't know yet. Related to the Reaper? Nah, probably not. As of late, the Reaper project has mostly come out of pocket. And I haven't really made too much off of all that. Uh, I understand. I've not made much uh, other than the very generous... Uh, amount that you have offered me. Well, you know, uh, Hungry, we still got all that cyberware we ripped off those punks over there. Yeah, back where the pistol guy was at. Yeah, yeah, we can, uh, I mean, we just need to get it scrubbed. And, uh, I suppose you could probably sell that off if you need some money. Yeah, I got a real good doc that could take care of that for us, uh, He's uh, indisposed of for a few days, but, you know, he within is... a few days, he could get it taken care of. He's doing a very important thing if we are talking about the same. You're talking about the old man Buzzard. Yes. I yeah. helped him get uh, some pharmaceuticals for our friend Genny to get better. Wait, hold on. What now? Not those kind of pharmaceuticals, oh. my dear. You almost moved up in the rankings. <laughs> Goddamn. These are for yeah. therapy. But I don't oh. want any of you to turn into a cyber psycho. Oh, okay. I've had oh. enough of those in my life. Yeah, that's fair. Buzzard, he's another guy like Morty here. He's seen some shit in his day, let me tell you. That old fuck there. But if you ever need any work done, he's probably the most reliable. 
most rippers these days. I mean, they're like any other punk out there. They live fucking fast, die young, burn slow, whatever the fuck you want to call it. They don't last long. Buzzard's been around the block a time or two. The fact that he does therapy as well as uh, cyberware says a lot. Oh yeah, I'm sure and he's you probably... only do one or the other. Uh, that's uh, what your people call uh, vertical integration, right? Like, you, you set up your business with one thing and then you bring them in for the second thing? Mm. Uh, the repair service. Uh, yeah, I'd brain imagine, repair. I'd imagine he's doing it honestly, though. He's probably done some work that sent a punk or two over the edge. And he knows what the limit is by now. Absolutely. Everyone has uh, their fair shares of uh, mess ups. Alright, so just pausing for a second. I'm going to give yeah. someone a chance to think about what they're doing with their life. And um, <laughs> they, they can obviously. If it's going to be X, we're going to be here for a while. But... No, I, that's fine. I already know what that's. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not putting you on the spot, but we are putting you on the spot a lot here. And Jonah, it's it's it's, it's you. You're the guy. So the conversation oh. is folding to you. You are basically being called out for having information, and you're just kind of blanking. And so yeah. you need to play the game. Like, you need to interact. I don't mean like the game as in Cyberpunk. I mean the game that's being yeah, played yeah, yeah. here. There's three people here that are doing jobs and they keep mentioning this Reaper program. What yeah. do you know about it? What do you have that you can offer them about it? What do you understand about it? What do you think you can bring to the table here regarding it? And what will save your ass from getting shot by It does hungry. sound like Hungry <laughs> wants oh, to Jesus. turn violent because you're being uh, in, a, in a way by being obtuse, and you're probably not meaning to do it, but you're creating a, 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 a dichotomy that is not favorable to you two working together. So you need to... Yeah. I just, I don't know what... Slap exactly... on the charm, say what you feel like your character would say in this situation. Would he just be silent and not say anything to these very powerful players? Like, as they talk about something that's very important and possibly yeah. lucrative? What if Militech is trying to get the Reaper program? What if you got the Reaper program for them? You don't know what the Militech wants, sure, but you do understand that there's opportunity on the table and what you're doing with it is nothing. So that I get it. It's fine. I understand it's there's a lot of people talking, but you've got a pretty forceful personality. I just need you to demonstrate it. It's also a pretty big reach for me. Out of character, to be completely honest. Like, I'm just... All right, all right, going I'm going to try it. I'm yeah. gonna try something. I'm gonna you try. You got this, Jonah. Okay. Um, not to derail this, you know, conversation we are having about pharmaceuticals and whatnot. Um, but back to the main topic at hand with the Reaper and that issue. Um, I personally do not know what Militech plans to do with the Reaper program, with styles. All I do know is that my employer was personally indebted in zeroing Miss Styles or Major Styles, so to speak. I do not ask questions because I am at the entry level. I do not want to get zeroed myself. So as I am being obtuse and secretive, it is to stay alive. And I'm sorry if that comes off uh, as rude, so to speak. Let me... uh. Let me just chime in with the little advice, whatever your name is. Um, I can I can tell you from personal experience, keeping your head down doesn't mean they can't find it. Sometimes you need to have your own leverage. I am working on that. I have a smidgen of leverage. Um, 
but I, I need more. Well, what's you, the leverage you do got? I know that um, there, there was a person, uh, Gilchrist. Um, he worked with uh, Stout, Meredith Stout. And she's my only lead into what exactly is going on with the Reaper and um, Militech. And I, I think finding her is the most important thing. What was that name? What was that name one more time? Meredith Stout. Yeah, she worked with Meredith, but uh, the first name you gave. Oh, uh, Gilchrist. Christ. Gilchrist, yeah. And yeah. Anthony? Hmm. Why I is know. Meredith Stout ring a fucking bell? Meredith Stout is featured in the Cyberpunk 2077 video game. She is the hard-ass Militech employee um, who is basically chasing down a stolen Militech convoy. Um, she, in this canon version, um, gave a infected cred ship to V, who gave it to Maelstrom, who had their shit fucked and then got beat the crap out of by Jackie Wells and V, who escaped and then Meredith met them at the door and seized the convoy back. Uh, v and Meredith later um, had a fling, um, and that's the canon version of Meredith Stout. But again, in character, um, the name Meredith Stout might ring a bell to the Biotechnica. Um, Representative, roll a D10. This is for a reputation. Uh, check. Okay. Seven. Okay. Ooh. It's just under what you needed, so good. Um, oh. Meredith Stout is um, actually kind of a big wig in um, Militech. Um, she is kind of a head of um, her own department. Uh, she deals with... Um, let me double check my notes. She is a senior operations manager. For Militech, meaning she deals with um, uh, making sure like envoys are kind of everything that Militech does is being handled. She's the operations manager. She is not a part of Reclamation, which makes sure it gets a hold of stolen materials or lost. That's materials. you, Jonah. Yeah, you That's son me. of a bitch. That's you. I take care of stolen. Now you're reclaiming all the things. Claiming. And X, if you have your deck right now, you can do a quick library search. It's not too hard to check employee files for Militech. It's a pretty large mega cord. All right. Which skill is that on attack? Uh, education. Uh, education. Oh, yeah. I see. Library search. Sufficient. So you would know Meredith's doubt, um, you know, um, senior operations manager at Militech. Um, she kind of does a bit of the news rapport um, with um, like business channels um, and uh, stream sheets that deal with like stocks and business. Um, she's kind of a forward facing member of the Militech uh, community. Um, and then you'd also pull up Anthony Gilchrist who um, is MIA, uh, according to Militech's information, uh, has been missing since May. Um, and um, was formerly a member of accounting, uh, basically making sure inventory was kind of kept um, to current. Um, yep. The hell are you doing with a big wig like that and somebody in accounting that's been missing for four months now, huh? Um. Well, it, it had to do with major styles. I, I did take the neural link. I had it checked out to be a net runner. So it was not put in uh, metaphorical butcher. Afterwards, but I I took some data for myself just to be sure. I would not say that that is uh, just putting it in a woodchipper. Then you are taking information off of it. Yeah, I did. I. 
I needed to uh, find out some things. I needed to know why my employer was so hard on, I guess. He had a hard on for, for this person. 15 was high enough to also get you X, um, the chief of uh, operation or the chief um, director for reclamations department in Militech is an individual named Vernon Fisk. Who's that? But that's just information that X is in the library, sir. It was a pretty high roll. So, uh, huh. Big wig like that, spending time with a doing something with a nobody like you, huh? No, not me. I just have information on her. I've never actually met the person. But you have been uh, working for her in a roundabout sense? I don't know. Sounds like a real city job. He he kind of gets annoyed. Yeah, it is. Sometimes I wish I never went into the corporate structure, but here I am now. Uh, Safe apartment, uh, <laughs> food. You know, I mean, it's better than some people. You're dealing with stresses, yeah. but the stresses you're dealing with are, you know, sideways compared to stuff people mm-hmm. in street are dealing with. A pretty nice gig, but it comes with a lot of uh, responsibility. I assume you did not grow up this way. None. Makes sense. I don't really want to get into personal matters, but I just want to do be better. So that's really it. As I'm assuming all of us wish to do. Where I'm fine where I'm at. <laughs> I mean, I already told you how I wanted to go out. Like, there's a variety of ways. Just not burning. Yeah. <laughs> if I had mm. a job for you, you would be hired right now, X. But All right, I appreciate that. Any job I have right now is coming out of pocket, and I am uh, a little short. I'm sure yes. we could work something out. Did you find Meredith Stout? Could we find her? Oh no, directly to X, sorry. Oh. I mean, I can find anybody with enough time and <clears throat> money. Give me your contact information. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Give me your cred chip. All right. <laughs> L- looks like the bidding war has begun. <laughs> <laughs> Bit passes it over agent to agent. Johan drops 10,000 into your account right now. Could you find her for that? Uh, yeah, I can certainly try. God fucking day. <laughs> What's some of that? I go hide in a corner somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the poorest one at the table. <laughs> oh no, I'm the poorest one at the table. Rich and burgers. That, <laughs> well, he just spent a bunch yeah. of it. I could oh, feed true, you, dog. True. How about that? I could feed yeah, you. <laughs> I got some wine. <laughs> But I planned on keeping it. Synthetic meat, it's a great. Easy beef. Now, easy beef. So fresh, that, it still wriggles. I do not care how long it takes. I just expect you to find her now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, you. You finally started speaking my language. Um, you know, speak a few languages. <laughs> Partying and pharmaceuticals is one of them. This is another. Uh, <laughs> this beer is a third. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. If it, if it is pharmaceuticals you're after, I'm pretty sure at least three of us here could find you something. I mean, one of one of you said that it was just for the therapy stuff, but we're getting sidetracked. Uh, okay. Meredith Stout. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you start kind of library searching, again, most of the information you're able to pull is going to try to kind of track you back to the Militech employee file. Um, her presence in the city is not confirmed. Um, and if she is here, she's staying in Militech, like the office building, and probably has like a suite located on on site. Sounds fucking sweet. It would be if she weren't on the run. 
Let's go, guys. Pier 2.0. Shoot, shoot <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Does the library search we'll turn... Walk. We'll walk right into Militech. <laughs> yeah. Our John... plot armor will protect yeah. us. John, the horse. John hasn't killed us yet. <laughs> Yeah, are they yeah, are they on like a river so us. I can ride on a boat again? Take twelve um, six. Take twelve. Really walks so, into the lobby and for some reason there's a tumbleweed there. I go into the <laughs> the metal container. <laughs> so I think what what X would probably do with the information found from the library search mm -hmm. is kind of work backwards to find people that Meredith Stout has most recently interacted with that aren't missing for four months like Mr. Gilchrist. The problem with her information is that because she's so higher up it seems that a lot of these contacts aren't direct. She yeah. seems to have subordinates that kind of coordinate these. And tracking these it's very hard to do. It's kind of like a web of just mess. I don't know if you've ever seen like an operations chart for like a yeah. larger company. Yeah. But that's effectively sure what you're looking at. Yeah, it's hot mess. I, I mean, for sure. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> the only kind of like angle that you're looking at backtrack wise that you know is relevant to the conversation here is Gilcrest. Man, ha have your people never heard of uh, efficiency? Jesus Christ. No. God. After, after you know what happened, it sort of just went to shit, to shit, you know. So this, um, this, this Gilchrist person, how? Tell me again how they're they're involved in this from from your perspective. Uh, hold on, let me read the notes. <laughs> I'll, I'll quickly summarize. So Gilchrist, um, apparently, uh, was thought to be a mole who was mm. basically giving information regarding a Militech convoy to the Maelstrom gang. Uh, Meredith assumed this was also... V was also a part of this. Captured them both, but then let V go do her thing, uh, which ended up in the convoy being returned. About that time is when Anthony disappeared. Um, the presumption is, is that Meredith pulled the trigger on him and blamed the convoy going missing on him. Um, however, what you would know, Jonah, just to make sure this is very loudly clear, mm -hmm. Fisk is mad about it because she got perks for it, but was doing his job. Yeah. yeah. So, about this convoy, when and where did that all May, go down? Night City, Watson, uh, up at an All Foods location. The uh, oh, convoy so was... was here in that was here in town and didn't it wasn't like out in the badlands no uh, it was basically on its way into town um where they took it up near the oil fields and then they brought it to an all foods warehouse that's kind of old and decrepit up in watson and uh that's where the maelstrom hang out they have a pretty solid well had rather a pretty solid really kind used of, to hang out <laughs> yeah, the kind of seized it <laughs> all of the things it was most of their shit anyways um oh, shit. yeah but, so this wouldn't uh, be something that any of the families have any dirt on. No. Um, not really, no. Um, if any of the materials got out and about, uh, mayhaps. But, like, again, as far as Militech is concerned, like, you're aware that there are Militech convoys out and about that have been taken by avocados, wraiths, you name it. Everybody's fucking seized Militech shit. Sometimes it's just, it's right there for the taking, you know? Some assholes, like pulls somebody over on the highway and is trying to like you know seize their assets and you're just on the ridge nearby and you've got three outriders and a couple sniper rifles might as well just scoop the fucking driver and <laughs> roll up on him kill the remaining people kill the guy they pulled over too and take everything <laughs> like pretty easy gotta do what you gotta do to these fucking assholes are out here in the badlands they knew what they were gonna get should have worked for Arasaka. Whoa, so, uh, buddy! <laughs> listen, man, I don't want to. I don't want to scare you uh, after you know you just hired me and uh, whatnot. But it, it seems like a lot of the people that you keep mentioning uh, seem to get promoted to uh, chief synth machine materials. Uh, like they're 
they're promoted straight into straight into a landfill. So um, again, I get that you're the corporate employee and I'm just some street punk here, but uh, you might you might want to start making some allies outside of this tangled as fuck corporate infrastructure. I'm working on that. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I appreciate I'm, the feedback. I'm looking around here and I see one, two, three, four, five of those potential allies. So if you've got a direction for this Reaper thing that we're trying to find, that, you know, the leverage thing we're talking about, the, whatever's going on here and whatever is happening to all these people that you seem to be interacting with, uh, you might need a little more than, what was that weird word you used? Uh, smidgen, right? A smidgen yeah. of leverage? You might need yeah. like like a whole uh, brain construction level of uh, leverage because yeah. there are a lot of missing people here. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, I mean, so, it, they, real quick, they blew you, up a whole gang. Do you want to follow into Gilchrist's information? Yes. Go ahead and make me another library search. You can spend luck if you want to. Let's spend three. If you fail, you're going to get demoned. Enjoy uh, that. Wouldn't be the first time. Can't get demoned on the no, you're 16. Get demoned. I'm the DM now. With the luck. The safe, net, the safe <laughs> ass net. So, uh, Gilchrist's information, uh, his contacts are not very heavy. He is a direct report. Um, it looks like directly underneath, um, uh, or was before his termination um, due to missing work because uh, he's not been um, available. Um, what a lazy. Yeah, what a lazy guy. But it uh, looks like the uh, contact list for Gilchrist is publicly available. And most of it looks like just people in, you know, accounting, people in kind of warehouse locations, stuff that you can kind of easily kind of boil down to not being important. But one name pops up for you, and it's kind of like, who's this? And why don't I have more information? And why is there phone number, a dead number. Um, someone named Patricia. Daddy. <laughs> You've got the contact phone number and tracking it to when it was last active. It looks like it was active in where the all foods situation happened with Maelstrom. You, uh, you know anything about a, uh, a Patricia? I know she was in contact with Gilchrist. It might be the uh, the last. A lot of these people seem to be involved at some uh, All Foods over in uh, Watson. Yeah, I know that. I know that she um, had information. Uh, I believe involving what, uh, how Gilchrist. Or how they, how Maelstrom took the merchandise. I say merchandise only because I don't remember exactly what it was. And I want to correct the record on something real quick. Maelstrom was dealt a pretty grievous blow by Militech, but they're not all gone, uh, to, to be sure. They had about 1,300 members. It was just this small cell of Maelstrom that got mm. wasted uh, back in May. So just to make sure <laughs> you're aware, there is still a Maelstrom hanging out. I mean, it's all over the place. It's They're... just not as big. Well, yeah, they yeah. lost. They lost probably like a hundred or so people. Oh. Yeah, they still got a bunch. That yeah. <laughs> Sorry. They still got a bunch. They still got a bunch. I'm assuming a search on this Patricia won't turn up anything beyond that either. No, nope, seems to have been a handle or a, a, like a throwaway name. But the number does give you information that it was somebody that was probably affiliated with Maelstrom based on the location and timing. So if you were wanting to get more information from... Yeah. So, is Maelstrom a gang? Yeah. They're a uh, booster gang. Um, so, um... They're also known as a Chromer gang. Um, they are very invested in um, Chrome and being as fucking biologically enhanced by metal um, as they can. They're also kind of like a hard metal aesthetic. 
I'll post. Oh, this is the wrong channel. Uh, <laughs> ga, ga, ga. So the majority of the Maelstrom gang has been eliminated. A, sm no. a small portion. A small portion. Yeah. And the rest of them are sort of like scattered and are laying low. No, no, no. They're not laying low. They're still fucking running Night City. It's just that this specific cell um, that got taken out back in May, um, they're all dead. I mean, no. if... Uh, Go ahead. It looks like if we're trying to find some kind of trail here on some of these Militech folks that have been involved in all these things, uh, any of y'all know any Maelstrom members? I mean, I've... I've had some late nights with some people that I think probably probably know them, but uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you don't you don't look team. like the type to party with them, and I'll point it at Moody. Moody gets on his agent and texts Jumbo and says, uh, "Hey, do we know anything about any any Maelstrom members? You got any contacts there?" Who are you calling? Uh, Jumbo. No, I don't know them at all. Uh... Yeah, we don't have anybody in Maelstrom. Never heard of it. Huh. Fair. Figured I'd ask. And anybody who's local would know that Maelstrom rolls in uh, Watson and the uh, in the NID, or North Industrial District. Um, they're very easily recognizable. They typically have, like, leathers um, and, um, like, a massive amount of cybernetics. Like, a yeah. ghastly amount of cybernetics to the point that Basically, they're no longer... If you saw it you'd know it hey uh just again i'm i'm not a uh a job creator but i i do like to think i'm i'm pretty street smart didn't you guys just say you have a bunch of uh cyberware yeah they do no no like uh mooney and uh hungry didn't you guys say you came across a bunch of cyberware yeah, it had some uh, some sort of had some sort of dirty program in it that needs scrubbed. But I mean, I don't I don't know shit about that. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really concerned if these dirt bags get some fucked up cyberware. I'm just saying that if we're trying to find some information or some leads, uh, maybe maybe there could be some trading happening. This is a smart idea. That's why and I'm worth every penny. Maybe you could uh and every pastry. Take advantage of that 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 dirty software in there. Instead of maybe instead of cleaning it out, you could uh plug in yeah. and Hmm. Actually not a bad idea. So uh, Letty being a person who's already recovered uh cyberware, or rather a mecha from them and sold or gave it back to the company you would know that the hardware is kind of laced with software that allows the brand owner to kind of just track it before it goes to market this is typically yeah. removed think of it like the tags that they put on clothes at like a um you know store um, yeah. it's not going to be very hard for a maelstrom to get rid of this they did it with Militech. <laughs> they yeah. took the convoy and were using their ship without having asked. Oh, so. right. This is that... Uh, this is, So this is the gang that was the yeah. desert? Okay, 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 okay. I wasn't well, here for that one, so... Well, no, the, they're talking about the cyborg that they got. Um, yeah, you were there for that. The one where you and um, Hungry went and were chasing down the cyber psycho. Um, Nat. Oh, the one with the gyrocopter the... at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. That warehouse full of shit. Hungry has it. It's sitting in oh, his that's storage what facility. About, then? Yeah, it just oh, okay. he hasn't Wait, been able to Mooney move it. In that one? Yeah, Mooney wanted the handgun. Oh, I forgot that we had worked together before. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> Okay. Couldn't be in yeah. so many sessions, Elizabeth. Oh, sorry. I did sit one out, and I regret it because I didn't get to play with Sheet Show. And it's Continental Brands gear, so it's not like it's 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 definitely not going to be a lucrative sellout if Maelstrom wants it at all. Um, right. But like, if you can 
Well, because it was kind of like budget stuff, too. Anyway. Yeah, Continental Brands is very much a budget kind of cyberware yeah. and um, kind of gear um, provider. They don't do a lot. Okay. They're in. But if you want to set up a meet, you can. So I have a contact then? Well, I mean, more the fixers on this one, actually. Oh. You have a set, or you have a connection with Continental Brands. I mean, but oh, okay. no need there. You've already got the, the, right. the loot. I mean, I've probably partied with a few people. I mean, I'm hungry. You said you got a, a job coming, but it sounds like stuff hasn't been firmed up yet. Yeah. So I mean, I've already gotten paid. This is just part of that job. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I mean, probably some excitement. Hey, uh, hey, old man, you awake over there? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, well, uh, waiting for you to like, get to it. Yeah, it looks like this conversation's above our pay grade. We'll say you and I go have a little bit of fun. <laughs> what, like what, kid? Well, we got some empty beer bottles here, and I got a shiny new gun. <laughs> okay. So I take out my smart pistol and follow. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what I have in mind is it's gonna be like it's gonna be like clay pigeons. It's like one of us throws a bottle and the other one tries to shoot it out of the air. Okay. So yeah, Mooney gathers up the empty bottles and goes to find like kind of like a secluded spot away from the market, so they're not like really alarming anybody, and they're not gonna you know accidentally shoot somebody. Yeah, if you're just but, messing uh, around, but for the yeah, again for the uh, and that's fine. I, I'm not trying to. It, it did seem like they were coming to a point where we actually almost had something going. So I just want to make sure we cut <laughs> over the edge so that you're actually doing something cool <laughs> instead of shooting cans. <laughs> but you're shooting cans. But for those of you who were not shooting cans, there was a pretty good thrust mm -hmm. there, Johan. It does sound like. That connection could prove fruitful in yeah. finding out who Patricia is, and then for the others. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe we we should try to go down that route where we try to find the correct maelstrom and offer them cybernetics for either information or just something. I and hold on, sorry, real quick angle that I don't think. Um, Joe might be picking up on. I just want to make sure. You have the cybernetics. Johan wants the cybernetics to get information from Maelstrom. I don't think I need to say any more. You're a pretty smart boy. <laughs> hungry need money. <laughs> Johan hungry have money. be hungry for the monies. <laughs> <laughs> hungry gotta eat. What are you paying for these parts? Mmm... It is an important matter. What does that mean? What is an aborted paycheck? How much did you pay for them? <laughs> <laughs> how does one value a life? That's not, that's not, how, that's not how shit works in Night City at all. Uh, I got it for free, that doesn't mean I'm giving it to you. I ain't passing the same exact to you, my guy. <laughs> wow. Were they really? I should have. I should have rephrased it. I'm you sorry. Have, so hold on. You would have inventoried it, um, uh, Joe. You would know that's that there's. A fair question. Yeah, there, you'd know that there's probably about twenty k worth of shit in there. It's just that for you, the uh, problem will be finding a buyer, um, and also finding a buyer who is okay with them being effectively spiked being compromised. Uh, well, I'll offer the pieces up for, for what they're worth and uh, offer Johan 15k. 15k for the block. That is generous. Okay. Yeah, this could work. He, he drops 15k. So you send that over to Hungry's account? Yeah. You all, or you see the uh, deduction and you watch it uh, add to your account immediately. I'm assuming immediately after you're 
tip, 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 getting Chino and the gang to kind of like move the product into a more deliverable fashion. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with the product in mind, do you as a group, since you're already out in the night, already doing your thing, it's not super late, probably, you know, 11, 12 o'clock, but you're pretty sure you could find one of the haunts for the Maelstrom and work your way into a conversation with someone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those weirdos, they they don't keep hours. They're always doing something. For sure. Yeah, I know. Usually sniffing paint. Now, I know there's a function for the operator uh, rank or skill to do something regarding finding these kind of contacts, and I'm trying to remember what it's called. But I'm bad at rules I, and have always I think been... it's under haggle. No, not haggle. Grease? Reach. Reach, okay. Um, no, no, the reach is what you can get contacts. No. So the contacts and clients? Contacts and clients. Um, so as a rank four operator, um, you got city gang honchos, uh, minor politicians, corp execs, well-known persons in the neighborhood. Um, since you're mainly in the Glen and you're mainly in Vista del Rey, um, your kind of contacts are south, southern sided. Um, and you know who you know already. Who would you try to contact to kind of get information on Watson? You also have somebody in South Watson, Regina Jones. You both have her as a contact as well. Mm. I could try Regina Jones. Yeah, okay. I could try to contact her. Unless. Um, Hungry wants to. What is Brent typing in? No, you do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll contact <laughs> Regina. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Johan, right? I have to role play out the whole. It, it doesn't matter. You go. No, wait. <laughs> Tell me what you need to role play out. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's why I said he goes and okay. he contacts Regina. Because I don't want to call her out for being a fucking asshole that blames everything on the gangers when it's not the fucking gangers' fault. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of pent up emotion, emotion holding on as Johan is calling Regina. Regina didn't. Uh, Regina didn't put that information up. That was N54. That wasn't her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Likely story. So, um, Johan would say, um, y- yeah, this on? is. This Wait. is Johan. Uh, I'm I'm sorry for calling so late. Sure. Um, but uh, I I'm reaching out to uh, try to get some information on a maelstrom buyer, perhaps uh, for some cybernetics. At, uh, this, at this hour. Um, yeah, the maelstroms are always up. Yeah, I know a guy um, that might be interested. Um, Sure. Um, he's actually. I think he's on your side of town. You're over in Visible oh. Ray. I think he's over in the Glen. Last I heard, him and a small uh, group of his were doing some bar hopping over in the Glen. Let me see if I can't get a shot over to him, see what he's doing. Yes, this is perfect. Give me a couple minutes. Thank you, Miss Jones. A couple minutes pass. She says, yeah, contact's name's Brick. He's located at a bar called Six Shots. It's over in the Glen. It's on the uh, south coast there. Um, he says he'll wait around for about an hour, hour and a half, but then he's going to roll out. Is Brick the one from the game? Maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. And Brick, uh, oh, I'm writing down notes. All right. Okay. Do you head that way? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna tell everyone. Um, I'm I'm gonna text Mooney and uh, Mortar. I'm gonna let them. Why know. text them? They're right. Uh, they're right there shooting guns. I thought they went all <laughs> no, the way no, no, out no, no, of no. Night Market. You know, no, man. Crazy shoot, shit happens shit. in Night Markets all they're the time. Probably in like an alleyway or something. It's right okay, nearby. Okay. They're just so, yeah. around. Um, yeah, you just hear bang and the sound of breaking glass, and then Moody going woo. <laughs> uh, Mister Mister Hungry, how fast can you get that stuff here? 
Well, not here, but at the bar. It's actually not too far from there since it's uh, right here. Oh, okay. So and then the bar is there. You can actually Maybe on the way. Is. Okay. So yeah, let us try to um, get the the cyber up, the, blah, the cybernetics there and um, uh, try to negotiate a deal or something. Um, Miss Letty, will you be joining us or? I uh, do not have anything tonight. Okay. My nights tend to be free unless my program's on. Oh, well, what do you watch? It's a uh, yeah, Hogwatch. Yeah. Oh, it's a Hogwatch. We yeah. we were actually on an episode, I think. Did that did no, that air yet? Yeah. No. They, they, they 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 recorded us for one. You should you should check it out. See how um, I ended up being one and zero with the Reaper. I, you Which, know by the I way, one and zero. I believe one of the more popular shows in Night City right now is a show on WNS called Watson Horror. Um, it's a show that revolves around a character who's kind of in extreme, like, scenarios for, um, a person of that specific, uh, profession in the Watson district. Johan um, watches that, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, either that or a TV drama. Yeah. That uh, is TV like drama in 2077. <laughs> yeah. Does watching that show give Johan the impression that he's, like, ten times more badass than he really is? Yes. Absolutely. He's that type like, of person. Yeah, you yeah. watch it to get hyped. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming that um, Hungry will be rolling, picking up the items from his folks as they move it out, get it into the back of the truck, and heading over to the spot, right? Is that fair to assume? And then Johan, I assume that you'll be riding with Mooney and paying him for the service, and then shoving a gun and... Um, possibly a nice companion in the form of Letty in that vehicle and heading that way. At least one open a seat. What? Well, you're he's not paying you. <laughs> is what I'm saying. So like no, I don't mean like I don't mean romantic involvement. Is that a conversation a, with you? a side kick. Um it is conversation DM. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we established that Johan is a short king. Yeah. <laughs> Johan is short king. Short king baby <laughs> And I, again, I, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to presume, but he does spend a lot of time at the Dicky Twister. So, I mean, like... Yeah. If anyone would be down, it would be X. Yeah. I know all those places. So what you're saying is that uh, Johan is now Letty's gay BFF. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. We love this. So Possible if, gay BFF. If you oh, are all rolling... Cute. Yes. This is like Night City Bingo. <laughs> yeah. You arrive at Six Shots. So this is a very kind of small, simple bar, hole in the wall, kind of in an alleyway that actually descends down to just more alleyway. Um, it is um, also a bit of a strip club. Um, I say a bit. Um, it's 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 a nice enough spot. But it's also not really nice. Um, it it looks like it was built during the 2040s, like as Pacifica was getting like big, and some of the money was kind of spilling out from that region into kind of other venues. Um, it it's definitely a hard to find place, and parking is kind of abysmal. Um, but um, the interior looks like it has like a level of sophistication that's not really present in the Glen. Um, and a lot of the dive bars and kind of clubs that are present therein. Um, that being said, um, I think I found it. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Sorry, my handouts are pretty messy. Just typing all players. Save you changes and show the players. It's literally like, yeah, you can see the main thoroughfare and the coast just out the kind of left side of this picture. It's, it's a hole in the wall. It is literally a hole in the wall. There's apartments <laughs> all throughout, but um, anybody familiar in the Glen, which would be hungry for sure, you would know that um, like on that first floor there are you know strippers um, and um, all sorts of activities kind of going down. Um, but the first floor above it, 
which are apartments, have been converted into uh, effectively a brothel. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a nice it's a nice location. It's easy to kind of get get into. Um, and some of the people on the kind of adjoining building or adjoining portion of the building complain about noise a lot. Oh fuck this place! Yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> um, but yeah, parking on the street. I assume everybody kind of fills in, um, and uh, let me know who's actually going in, who's staying out with the merchandise, what the plan is. Johan is gonna go in. Makes sense. You uh. uh... Mooney would probably defer. Well, considering Johan's paying, uh, yeah, he would defer to Johan. If Johan wants Mooney to come in and keep him company, that's I mean, fine. Having a gun that would be nice. You uh, you ever done one of these deals before? Uh, was hungry. Yeah. Like ten minutes ago. No. Uh, when I first. <laughs> when he like... mentions the deal with hungry. Mooney just laughs. <laughs> Good times. Uh, it, it was a little while ago, like a, a week or two ago. Um, it was tense, to say the least. You, you've never dealt with people like this, though, yeah? Oh, no. No, never. What about you, Is Hungry? You hung and hang. There's All no right. problem. All right. Um, I already got paid. <laughs> so Mooney's got like a duffel bag in his back seat that has all the shit he bought from the night market in it. Mm -hmm. So when they decide that they're going to go in, um, he gets in his duffel bag and he grabs like a few different grenades and kind of tucks them into his belt underneath his coat. Um, and then he grabs the uh, the ballistic mask that he bought and like puts it on his face. So that way he can protect his face, but also keep his hat on. Cool. He says, all right, let's go. All right. Anybody else have any prep that they want to do before they go into the bar? All right. Am I staying out here? Your fault. It it's it it's a blast in there. Just I will go in. She puts her yeah. uh, new shiny head jack armor. All right. It's just light. Cool. I don't have any armor. I just. Just show up to places. Hunger, are you hanging in outside with the product? Or are you rolling in with the uh, gun glove? Outside. All right. Probably smart. Do you have any suggestions I, for Johan? I, I spend a lot of points on shotgun, and I buy a shotgun, <laughs> and then I show up. Well, with yeah, a you... shotgun out. <laughs> you bought a shotgun <laughs> at the night market. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just. We're yeah. we're outside. So do you, do you want to have... say where do you want me to be? Uh, protecting all these fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> so Mooney, Mortar, uh, Letty, Johan, and X are all going into the club. Uh, Chino, Hungry, Mac are staying out with a truck which has the chrome, right? Yes. Cool. You go inside. Mood's pretty calm for a club. The music's kind of like some kind of, you know, more um, r and B -E kind of beat. Um, several dancers are kind of present. Uh, some of them in kind of um, uh, like segmented spaces with glass paneling to kind of protect them from creepers. Um, some of them are kind of a bit more open and out on uh, like the stage. Um, it looks like there's currently uh, three um, girls on the main stage, and there's three guys kind of like off on side um, stages, one of them being near the bar. So as you kind of approach um, the bar, um, you would see that there's um, a couple of bartenders dealing with a kind of smaller crowd um, kind of there. There's a decent sized crowd kind of towards the middle of the space watching the main stage. And then you'd see that there are a couple of smaller booths off to the side that have kind of glass paneling that's kind of soundproofing. Um, and you'd see one of them appears to have a bunch of people who look like 
mechanical like demons like their eyes are kind of like they've removed the entirety of the front of their face and frontal lobe and replaced it with chrome and like a network array of like eyes um another one's missing his entire jaw um looks like he just has like a cigarette slotted into like a metal orifice um and it's just kind of going um and uh, they're all kind of like hanging around just kind of looking at it from this distance you can see that the uh, table um has a naked woman kind of laying out on it um and kind of like surrounding her are a bunch of um uh, basically inhalers uh, which uh, it's the fixtures immediately recognizes black lace um, she appears to be breathing so that's great uh, but there are like a group of other individuals some you know uh, male some female kind of all about kind of drinking talking shooting the shit um, one guy kind of off to the side is kind of just like looking at the main stage seems to be kind of eyeing one girl in specific um, and the girl in question looks like she has you know chrome arms um, and uh, very ornate looking chrome legs that kind of have, instead of feet, just kind of points that kind of slot into the ground. So she moves like a ballerina on the stage, but like a sexy ballerina. Like a sexy stripper ballerina. <laughs> Anyways. I didn't, know th I didn't know that was a role we could choose I'm in like, this game. Good God. detail, good detail, good detail. And it's all squandered. <laughs> That's actually... Hungry's backstory. Sexy stripper ballerina. Yeah. I knew it! Hey, <laughs> yeah. too many cheeseburgers. <laughs> Became a fixer. Sexy stripper ballerina. <laughs> we love to see it. It's a good thing I, Mooney's I know exactly math. what you're going for, John. And yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes me giggle. <laughs> um, but if you kind of go up to you know, this area, like if you want to just walk up on them, you can. Just tell me how you want to approach. What's your approach? God. Approaching Maelstrom is never the best. <laughs> um, uh, Tom. <laughs> this is you. Yeah. Do you guys have any pharmaceuticals? You got any of those in inhalers? Yeah. Nope. All right. Sure. I really looks like a kid you. at the circus. All right. I guess I'll, uh, I'll, I'll head up. Okay. You walk over to the booth, or do you walk over to the bartender? I'll walk over to the uh, the bartender. They're kind of like dealing with this, uh, basically teenagers and like young twenty somethings, kind of at the bar ordering, um, frankly annoying drinks like um, energy drinks mixed with alcohol. Like if you've hung out with a Cirrus, like you kind of get the vibe that uh, a lot of these people kind of are of the same kind of uh mentality hey, uh, spritz what are you you guys trying to get fucked up the kids you're talking to yeah them? yeah <laughs> yeah it's always <laughs> all right i got i i got something hold on you and then i'll have the bartender make them the just most absolutely soul crushingly alcoholic just drink he can make for both of them and then i'll pay for it yeah so when you say Just the name of the drink fuck off when you say the name of the drink the uh, bartender kind of like okay <laughs> and then like once he starts kind of serving him the other bartender uh there's three of them rather um but one of the other bartenders kind of comes over to you what about you what do you want for yourself uh, yeah do you have um uh, i have a pretty good street slang score so i'll try to parlay that into asking for information about where maelstrom is and um got a private booth over go. there um the leader of the group brick uh said he's waiting for some guy named johan yeah. all right good what uh th they drinking anything um or were they just huffing they got bottle service so they got what they need but if you want right. yeah it's just if uh you know what they've been asking for maybe we can bring just some Reaches down okay. very quickly, pulls out of the freezers underneath the bar, several like bottles of um, right. synth alcohol, whiskeys, and whatnot. You can take them over if you want. Spare us a lot of time. We got to make these goons their drinks. It's fucking gonks. Don't worry. Probably be the last one they ask for tonight. <laughs> you know, I appreciate it. <laughs> they um, deal their their business 
handed you three bottles. You kind of just could clink. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll have Johan grab two of them. Okay. <laughs> so right. just one, and then yeah. Johan could clink. And then you and your crew move towards... I'm assuming that you would tell Johan that yeah. they're yeah. waiting on you. Okay. Yeah, they, they're expecting us, just... Uh, as you come up to the booth, like it's, you know, uh, doors closed, but, um, you know, you see a guy inside kind of zip it open and he goes, what, do you, what the fuck do you want? Kind of leaning in. Um, I'm here to see uh, Mr. Brick. I am Johan. Yeah, I Johan. brought bottles. Yeah, we, we brought stuff. It's cool. Regina said you were a fixer. You look like a fucking suit traveling with another fucking suit. Some low-level bitches. Brick says, hey, fuck all that noise. Let him in. You clear the fuck out of here. Put the speed um, up on do you the want bar. Mooney to accompany you, or do you want Mooney to stay outside? If he's sending his guys out, uh, stay outside. It looks like he's sending out, like, the the the, the extras. It looks like the main crew kind of remains oh, in this space. okay. About yeah, the main them. crew. Yeah. If the main crew's staying in... Um, yeah, we. I kind of rather yeah. have Mortar because <laughs> Mortar I... just has that gruff experience well, yeah. and shit. Bullet to the head. Mooney hasn't tried that yet. That's true. I would not recommend. You, 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 you I, could have both of them. I'm just I saying. I don't want Mooney to pull a gun on me in the middle of negotiation. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. All right, let's all. I'll be out here if you need me. Just, uh, you know, say the word. Yeah, okay. Pop into Mortar, the space. you're up. Mortar, you stand at the door? Yep. Who else is going in? I'll go in. Uh, Buddy? I'll go in. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Mooney will stay close. I guess he'll hang out at the bar, but he's going to, like, stay close and ready in case he needs to spring in the action. Gotcha. Brick kind of looks across the uh, table at you, puts his feet up onto the table, and then kind of like looks at the unconscious woman and kind of kicks um, his foot just kind of forcefully to the right. You can hear kind of like a meaty thunk as he kind of catches her in the thigh abdomen, and she falls off the table with like a thud. Looks up at the girl and says, uh, Go ahead and make sure this, uh, that she's compensated. Um, he says, um, Will you do that for me, Ophelia? She nods. Uh, the she's a uh, she's crumbed out. She's she's also a maelstrom, but she kind of like picks up the um, unconscious uh, stripper and takes her out. Door closes behind them. So uh, here you got a shipment, uh, some some gear from Continental. It's pretty whack shit, but some of our young kids are uh, kind of missing out. We've been having a hard time getting a hold of some metal. Thanks to fucking Royce. Am I right? The guys are like, dude, was a fuck. Brick kind of looks oh. over at Johan. Oh. Before he says anything, he's going to put the bottle uh, on the table, open it up, and then if they do have empty glasses... Oh, they're not using yeah. glasses. They're drinking straight out no, of the hey. bottles. Oh, straight out of the bottle? Fuck. Fuck. Respect the drip. Glasses. Yeah, fuck it. Johan's just going to take... He's going to take a, a, a large swig and then place it down the table in front of him. Um, he's going to say, uh, yeah, we have um, a shipment. Uh, if you wish to use it for the use, you know, as long as they're well protected, that's good. Yeah. Did you bring it with you or uh, what? We got to fucking pick it up somewhere. We got to expect you are good for your shit. No, we, we have it outside. Outside, huh? Yeah. <laughs> These fucking gonks. Although, looks over at uh, Mortar, maybe not too gunkish, huh? Looks like you brought some heaters. Some old oh, you know, You know how it is in Night City. We cannot go very far without uh, the proper protection. Yeah, I get that. Um, anyway. I think I want to take a look. Yeah, Mind so if we come perfect. out? Yeah, so that's perfectly fine. You wish uh, to expect, uh, inspect the merchandise, so, yeah. Yeah. That is the smart decision. And, um, what was your asking price? Just so I know what I'm looking at. Gauge it based on what we're talking about. Uh, 15,000. 
Well, depending on what you got, Regina said it was quite a big haul. Let's go have a look. Uh, yeah, but Johan, wasn't there, wasn't there a, a tip involved? Yeah, uh, we also need uh, needed some information. If that information comes with the price, we could lower the cost to ten thousand. I should have listened to the fucking guy, the door guy. So these were execs, of course, they're gonna be fucking talking. Talking's fine. Typically gets people in trouble, though. A lot of people aren't too kind of words in these mean streets. But sure, tell me what you're trying to figure out, and I'll let you know if it's something I can help you with. Out of character. It's We're looking for Patricia, correct? That's right. Okay. Do we have a last name? Did X find out a last name, or just Patricia? Patricia. Just and Patricia. an old throwaway okay. number. Okay. Um... We are looking for um, an individual uh, that was uh, in contact um, with a, a corporal that we have issues with. Um, her name is uh, Patricia. He kind of looks down at the table. Now I know you're a fucking corporal. Do you work with Militech? Yeah. I appreciate your honesty, but it's not helpful for you right now. I understand. Out of character, do we know that the cybernetics are Militech? No, the, 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 the cybernetics are Continental Brands. Shit. Okay. Fuck. That might have helped my case, but all right. Listen, it, nobody's yeah. going to know what you're doing here. This is you're not there. You're forward. outside. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth operator. I, th I heard that silky and I was like, God, I wish he was in here. <laughs> but we're already in fucked up land. Listen. If, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, listen. I it's, uh... Ah, stop talking. <laughs> this, uh... Hold on, stop talking. Oh, right. Most people in your position probably wouldn't have told me straight up that they were working with military. Knowing our history. Yeah. But I will say this. That was a pretty lucrative deal for me. I mean, sure, I got hung up for about two weeks by Royce beaten up by his fucking goons. But in the end, it came out on top. I'm doing okay. I'm running the streets. I get to do what the fuck I want. Listen to hard fucking music. Fuck as often as I want, take what I want, drink what I want, do what I want. The only time that got fucked up is the last time I got affiliated with Militech. And Patricia was the reason why that ended up being the case. Had a friend. Someone willing to give a bit of information regarding the corporal movements. I'm not so willing to play ball. I don't got to tell you shit. 15,000 is fine. More than. Let's go take a look. Getting kind of hot in here anyway. Stands up. His crew stands up. And you will notice as they're standing up that they had weapons kind of like in yeah. in, in waiting. Mortar yeah. knew the whole time. But it, again, they don't look like they're ready to start a fight in the middle of this spot. While we, while we walk... He's just going to tell them, uh, or, yeah, he's just going to tell them, while I understand how you feel about the corporation, um, I will tell you that this is completely off the books, and this is just my deal as a fixer. I think you know who felt the same way, that he was impervious. You see him kind of like flash his agent out, and you see that there's like a geolocation uh, coordinates, and it's very easy to memorize. And then he kind of smiles and then puts his phone away. If you're interested, and you got a diving suit, see what happened to the last person who played outside of Militech games. He walks outside, 
And as he's passing that girl who was putting the uh, unconscious stripper away, um, he says, uh, Hey, Ophelia, do you think Patricia is interested in talking to um, another Militech guy about some interesting matters? She looks at him kind of curiously and then says, Depends how much he's paying. Sounds like 5000 to me. Maybe, she says. Where are we going? Outside, let's go. Maelstrom kind of march out. A um, couple more pick up outside, the ones that were at the door that he has sent out. And then there's a massive crew of about 12 Maelstromers um, head outside with you, your crew, walking up on Hungry's truck. Yeah, Mooney would definitely peel off the bar and kind of take up the rear. Chino, um, seeing the situation, looks at Hungry and says, Do you want me to call Padre? You want me to call some valleys? Come on, what are we doing? This is fucked. Yeah, calling some backup. All right, all right, all right. I'll sit up here in front. You good, Mac? Mac's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heads to the back of the truck, opens it up. And starts chucking out bags, kind of clanking, um, as they do. Brick kind of holds his hand up and kind of gestures for his gangers to back off. Walks around to the back of the truck and I assume meets Hungry there. Looks up at you and says, Well, if it isn't the fat man of the underside. We haven't met in person, but I've heard tales. Young fixer running around doing Padre's work. You know how I got the name Hungry, right? I'm assuming it's because you're just like everybody else in Night City. Fucking starving. Yeah. Starving. Poor young kid that got carved out by the streets themselves. To be what I am today. But the truth is, the last motherfucker that crossed me. I ripped his goddamn heart out and took a bite out of it. Yeah. Ever since then, I've been known as the hungry that's what i heard Bloody is in shock. <laughs> i'll tell you Thanks. i haven't tried that that seems like it would be <laughs> i'll tell you <laughs> Add I, it to the bucket list i uh Sorry, don't have <laughs> too different a story myself a lot of bullshits happens to young kids especially out here in the glen in south night city if you were around in the 40s, fucked up. Shit. Red Rings and Joe Boys fighting on the west side. Fucking Valentinos and Sixth Street Gangers fighting on the east side. Fucking Arasaka shooting blasts from the sky. Fucking tanks being run by Militech crews. Crazy shit. All sorts of wild fucking stuff. That's what I grew up during, so I get it. These bags. Hard ass motherfucker like you, I'm sure, is not going to try and pull one over on me. Is it worth 15? Yeah. I don't even need to look. Turns and looks back at Johan. 10 for me. Points at uh, the woman that was identified as Ophelia. 5 for Patricia. She'll answer some of your questions. Thank you. Yeah. Brick looks over at Hungry again and says, uh, You ever make your way up to Watson? Don't worry about us. Turns and heads away um, as his gangers kind of start moving on the product. The Eddie's so Ophelia was Patricia the entire time? The Eddie's flipped to your account. Ophelia steps forward and she mm. says, uh, Bright red hair, two bright chrome eyes, kind of set inside of like a cavity where, um, you know, eye sockets and whatnot would be. She's wearing kind of, um, you know, pretty simple um, flash, urban flash, but her arms, her legs, she's all meat, or she's all metal. Like the only thing that's meat on her is basically like the lower portion of her face. She right. says, um, what do you need to know? Okay. 
So, all Johan knows is that Patricia was in talks with, or was going to get into talks with Major Styles um, to talk about... Uh, Stop trying to think about it. What do you need to know? You should have already developed the questions you have. Your I'm investigatory sorry, work. Your investigatory work needs to be kind of focused. Like you need to be yeah. goal oriented. Okay. So am I asking her about What are you asking her? I'm not telling you. Am I asking, asking her about I'm not telling you. You tell me what you're oh, asking. Shit. I'm not role playing your character. I'm not fucking Johan. Okay. 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 What do you know about uh, Meredith Stout and Gilchrist's... Gilchrist's Stout killed um, Gilchrist. Okay, she killed him. Mm -hmm. Now, why are certain people of the Reclamation Department so focused on the Reaper and Major Styles? I don't fucking know. The fuck's a Reaper? Oh, shit. It is a uh, demon from seemingly a brain dance. Never heard of it. Doesn't sound something like I've heard about. Um, so can't help you with that. Fair enough. I can tell you stop kill Gilchrist because Gilchrist got in contact with me and we did a deal and uh, it made Militech lose a lot of Merchandise. That's what I assume he got killed for. Do you know why Meredith Stout is in the hiding right now? Fuck if I know. Is she? I mean, I don't... Again, I don't know anything about Militech. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know why you're asking me. You should probably ask somebody who works for Militech. Yeah. So what were you and Gilchrist working on, exactly, he that got him me, killed? He gave me the details on the convoy's location when it was at its weakest. We struck it, we got the tools. Brick took credit for it, started selling some things out. Some stuff to Dexter Deshaun, some stuff to Padre, some stuff to uh, the Aldecados. Um, some parts they needed for some sort of tank or whatnot. And um, then Stout came around. Uh, after Royce fucked it all up. And, um, yeah, made an enemy of Dexter to Sean. Dexter probably got in contact with Militech and um, pulled it back down on us. Uh, again, I don't know the internals of your uh, corporation. I just know that um, Stout was the one who pulled the trigger. Mm. She okay. had some, I can't remember, I think it was B was her name. Running around, doing her dirty work. Jackie Wells. Yeah. Do we know if Jackie Wells is departed? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. But you wouldn't know Jackie Wells. He's not famous. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fuck, I don't know if I'm asking the right questions. Um, does anyone else have any questions for the lady? You, uh... You and yours go looking for this uh, Gilchrist afterwards? It seems like uh, Brick there had had some locations. Yeah, we know where she got put down. Or where he got put down. You, uh, happen to scavenge anything? No. Yeah, it's all waterlogged. They, uh, put weights on his feet and dropped them right in the fucking bay. Add that to uh, the list of ways I don't want to <laughs> go out. That makes sense. Yeah. You only you only deal with the skill, Christ. Yeah. No other names. No other names. He um would say that he was afraid of um, his boss catching wind of it. He was also afraid of um, if Fisk could actually. Um, got any information regarding our location but we were pretty clean about that I don't know who Fisk was but he said it was somebody who'd come looking somebody from Militech that'd come looking and we know Fisk right 
what we know of Fisk. Not yet, because of this fucking guy. I don't think X <laughs> mentioned Fisk yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I do know that Johan and X would know Fisk because it exists. Yeah. And he's the head of the um, department called Reclamation. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, thank you, Patricia. I appreciate it. No problem. Easiest 5,000 I've made. He sounds up. Yeah. So you're out 30? Or no. Hold on. No, they're I'm paying only out 5. Yeah, they're, yeah, you're paying her 5, and then, yeah, you would have paid... He nothing. paid fifteen. They, he they, got fifteen, and so then no, he you're, sent. You're up five. They paid you ten, and you paid her five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he paid, or yeah, he paid fifteen. They they said he said yeah. ten for the information. He said no. He, she's five. saying that Johan paid hungry fifteen thousand, so right. yeah. he had the hardware. So, so he's yeah. currently yeah. negative ten for whatever you started with that. Because he only made 5000 on that deal. Right. He but he'll so pay... Yeah, so if he is... Right. They, Money! Oh, yeah, 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 they numbers. paid you 10000 Or yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. no, sorry. 15, they paid you 15000 She was paid 5000 Got it. My I brain's done. I thought they were paying 10000 Well, that yeah, would yeah, just be robbery. Because right. the 5000 was for the information from... No, they paid fifteen thousand. Brick was oh, separate, okay, okay. and then he said that that deal's separate, and you have to pay her five thousand. So, yeah. in yeah. the end, they only paid ten, effectively, but the money goes to Patricia, not to the gang. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm only out five. <laughs> Brick seems to not be the kind of person who's going to take money that's not due him, um, mm -hmm. unlike his predecessor or a uh Royce, who was very much kind of keen on taking money that wasn't his. All right, that's cool. That's nice of him. Brick is a fairer guy. True. Fairer. <laughs> fairer. Yeah. Uh, but they'll take their chrome and they'll leave. Um, if you don't have any other questions for them. Yeah, no. None might come to mind. Okay. Yeah, uh, in all honesty, it didn't go south. And there were a couple connections that um, that were kind of present that I we didn't really get into. Um, I don't have too much more regarding um, anything. It, it could have definitely gone south a couple of times. Um, I should have just let it with you guys killing Jonah. <laughs> but um, it's par for the course on Friday. I would say connection-wise, <laughs> um, whatever Hungry's Arm. next job is, which I assume will be tomorrow at oh, seven. No. Um, and are you down for tomorrow or no? Who me? Yeah. No, I'm playing yeah. in Jijo's right. game. Everybody's playing in Jijo's game. Yay. Okay. Yay, we'll, we'll talk. Yay. We'll talk about it more off. We'll talk about it more. I'm I'm done right. for tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna call it though a little early uh, okay. than normal. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this. yeah.